Oh, look at me, I'm Mario. I think I'm all special. I'm getting up in deserted lands. I'm gonna go murder some buzzy beetles, because I'm genocidal. And I die. I'm suicidal and genocidal. It's a double factor. I guess I'm regicidal, too. So I tried to kill Bowser. So I got the trifecta of murder going on. Trifectas of murder are always the best kind of trifectas. Stupid bats. Well, I remember those. They have the weird patterns now. Sort of neat. What are those called, anyway? The bats. Um. Oh, I break you. Whatever. It's not a secret exit. It doesn't need to be found. Damn it. Oh, the memories this brings up. Especially the repeated dying. Yeah, I'm not a patient man, if you can't tell. I, I do not do patience. Um, which is a good quality in a hospital person. Doing the patience is generally frowned upon for some reason. But I don't work at a hospital, so... I'm not sure it's particularly required for me to do that. Oh, hey, it's a flower. It's a free grip. You st stupid bat thing. Wait, I should know what your name is, because you're in Paper Mario, too. Oh, I can't stomp on them while they're in the water. Come on, attack me, you stupid bat. It's freaking following me! You, uh, I'm filing a restraining order against you. You, you bat. There, I said it. We were both thinking it. Oh. I guess this is what the hell breaks these. Oh. What? I can be Fire Flower Mario and die in one hit. Okay, let's back to Fire Flower Mario. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, Mario. What is the... <laughs> it's something weird in the physics that the, fire fl the fireballs always climb up when they break stuff. At least in... When they do the ice blocks. I guess those are basically ice blocks. It's very disorienting to be Fire Flower Mario and die. It does kind of make sense because if you see my health bar, I only have one thingy. But, yeah. Shrooms! Um, Chuck, get over here. Got a pound in your skull. Level over yet? Level not over. Ha! Ah. No! No! Stupid things. Hooray! Oh no! That trick again. I remember that from the stupid piranha thingy. Oh hey, disco ball time. Hey Ninji. Ooh. This yep, disco ball activate. Huzzah. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way, all other buddy. Stupid camera bros. They were, like, the lamest boss ever in Super Mario RPG. Ah! Now, you'd be a better ninja if your face wasn't completely pure, fluorescent white. I'm just saying. No offense. Chuck, just, just stop. Did I go back further than I thought I did, or is this deja vu? I guess either way it's deja vu. Oh hey, it's the crappy thunder noise from Super Mario Bros. 3. Crap. Yeah, nostalgia's great and all, but generally I don't like the stuff that's just... just plain bad because of the limitations of the hardware. 
like very odd sounding thunder with large amounts of clipping. Sound was never early games strong suit. Chuck? You know what? Screw you, Chuck. Uh, oh, great. Now we're getting into the standard ROM hack stuff. Bullet Bills down corridors. Benji. Yeah. Stop following me, baseball. I'll fire a file of restraining order against you, too. You and Chuck can just piss off. Oh, wait, I filed the restraining order against the bat. That bat is a pedophile. He doesn't look like it. It's always the one you least expect. I'll save a pedo stash. Then you, you just kind of know. Then again, that's generally my opinion of all facial hair. So for maybe a nice goatee, a la Gordon Freeman. Maybe. Generally not facial hair fan. Hooray, 27 stars. Hurry up. You are so slow and fat, Mario. You disappoint me. Now what could this level possibly be called? Oh, it's- oh! It's not Deserted Lands 4. Walk in the forest. Mario starts walking in the forest. All of a sudden, giant tree. And then, Koopas. The Koopas were always there. Even when Mario couldn't see them, he knew they were about. Buzzy beetles started flying out of tubes, and Mario's like, yeah, I forgot my pills today. But Mario ventured valiantly on, even though he did not have his pills. Mario decided he wanted to self-medicate, but no convenient mushrooms were around. So he self-medicated with cheating, his other addiction. Mario searched for hours for the mushrooms. Did he find them? No. They were nowhere to be found. Because the last place you'd expect to find a... No, give me that. A mushroom is in a forest. What the... Whatever. Mario did not like the green mushrooms anyway. He decided for a red one. Which is probably a bad idea. I think the death cap is like red. Hey! And then Mario died because a prana plant went up his rectum. No wait, that was a lack of two. Excuse me. Mario does not enjoy the Lakitu anal insertion. Crap. Then Mario murdered Hammer Bros because they're one of the most annoying things in Super Mario Bros. 3. Then he got more shrooms, and all the pain went away for a quarter of a second. Mario sees what you did there. Mario sees everything. Give me that. Mario died. Excellent. Mario wasn't sure if this springboard was... God damn it. It was for a secret, or if he had cheated the game out of a free springboard. But he didn't care. Stupid trees. Uh, that is, Mario fell for their obvious tricks and his lackadaisical state. Lackadaisical wasn't really the word I was thinking of, but it came out anyway. Sort of like Elton John. I don't know what I'm talking about. Can I kill you with this? No, I can't. Um, oh hey, shrooms. You finally come? You son of a bitch. Stupid goombas. Alrighty. Mario saw through their illusions, so Mario decided to continue on and refer to himself as Mario repeatedly. Mario seems to have killed a Lactu that was 
flying behind a tree or something. The mushrooms had given him psychic powers. But all he could think about were the bugs that were crawling all over him. Someone had apparently slipped meth into his mushrooms. Two great tastes that taste great together. Mario continued valiantly into Star. Mario was incinerated instantly. Oh crap, there's a real final boss, isn't there? Oh hey, it's Donkey Kong music. Mario ventured into the hot volcanic fields. This doesn't look very hot, except for the background. Oh, holy crap. Mario seemed completely unaware that being this close to lava would surely burn you to death in seconds. But Mario didn't care. All of the mushrooms and fatness he had gained made him completely immune to fire. Even though fat actually burns really well, so that should happen. But whatever. He was Mario. God damn it. He didn't care. He's the goddamn Mario. Then a blarg was like blarg. Then I was like jump. The world seemed to slow down in awkward ways. Mario wasn't sure if this was bad programming or if his high was coming down. It was always so hard to tell. Mario devoured coins incessantly. His stomach filled up with various precious metals, but he didn't care. Mario wondered what this music is from, but he didn't know. Mario hit a thing and he died. Well, not died, but still. More piranha plants. God damn it. Mario had forgone all pretense of being cautious. The shrooms had given him magical time and space warping powers. He was the Mario Man. He was also very stupid, but his magical powers allowed him to escape his fate. Repeatedly, every five seconds, for an entire 20 minute video. It was quite impressive. Mario disrespected the skulls of his ancestors by using them as a raft, but he didn't care. Because corpses are funny as long as they're drawn in cartoonish graphics. Mario knew this glorification of murder was wrong, but he didn't care. He'd become jaded. He'd also become annoyed by these piranha plants being every two feet. Mario secretly thought in the back of his head, Well, there goes the neighborhood. They called them racist, but... Mario seemed to think that the piranha plants were an inferior species. Peach sent him in for sensitivity training, but he never really learned. To this day, he considers turtles and piranhas an inferior species. But this, like, cool volcano... Cool volcanic land. Well, okay, then. Apparently, the obviously active volcano had magically become inactive in the last ten seconds. Mario seemed to recognize music from a completely different SNES game. Those, at least vaguely related, so it was okay. Mario continued his genocide of the piranha plants. They were an endangered species, but he didn't care anymore. He just did not care. And his death sounds echoed in an odd way in the back of his mind. Damn it. Go away. There we go. Mario pondered the odd physics that seemed to be before him. Why can I jump through this ground 
but then not go back down through it. Didn't make sense. Mario was disoriented and vomited for hours. But when he came to, we decided to continue on. Stupid piranha plants. Mario wondered if he could kill them. Of course he couldn't. You can never kill the stupid piranha things. Crap. That's just annoying. Would you go? Stupid. Yeah. Oh, they're that... Son of a bitch. Mario saw through their tricks. But there were too many of them. He fell for the same trap again and again. Time seemed to repeat itself. Mario also kind of stand, stood on nothing. The pills aren't working anymore. Nothing seems to be working anymore. Mario seemed to see extinct dinosaurs. His sanity was definitely disappearing quickly. Flying plants filled his vision. Someone called him in the middle of an LP. 